Hey guys and girls. So a real quick video on finish painting or finish coating. So as you can see, we've got primer on the walls and we started our first coat of finish. So what I did first of all is went around with my sander and just knocked down some of the some of the roughness you get from the primer, as you can see. See all that dust coming off? That's that's uh, stuff that you don't want in your finished paint. So we've gone around, we've knocked all that down. This is a good quality primer. Uh, I think it's Kills PVA, uh, very thick, covers really well in one coat. It's awesome stuff, very impressed with it so far anyways. Um, we're using a good quality uh, latex paint. Uh, long story short, I got this uh, paint for free and it's a semi-gloss. Semi-gloss is not really what I want to use on walls, but um, for an area like this, rec room, it's going to be well used, probably abused. Uh, it should stand up pretty good. So, and again, it was free, so I, I would have preferred an eggshell. But anyways, so we've gone around, we've scuffed everything. When you put the new roller cover on, okay, like just pretend this is brand new, I just like to run my hands over top of it and pick out any kind of uh, flex or anything uh, that might be in the way because they'll end up in your finished coat. You'll be picking stuff out of there anyways. Um, the can that I'm getting this paint from, it's, uh, it's a few years old, so it's got dry paint pieces in it and all kinds of stuff. So we've mixed it properly with that uh, mixing drill bit. If, uh, if you missed that video, you can go back and, uh, and I'll show you how to mix up paint. But uh, right now we're gonna get going. The paint roller's already been loaded up pretty good, so we're ready to go. I just go until the roller is completely coated. Start roughly in the middle. And then back roll. And then I go back over top. Just to make sure everything's nice and evenly coated. Again, somewhere around the middle. I like to start about a half a roller away, depending on the, how the paint's covering. You can see nice even coverage, there's no streaks, even though this is first coat. And what I like to do is try to get as close to the top where I cut in. That way, and you can see there, I got up to about oh, about third of an inch away from the ceiling. So that just makes that uh, that cut line up there uh, basically disappear. If you leave large cut lines with paint brushes, you're going to see those brush strokes. I don't care how good you are. That's just a fact. We're human beings. It's not perfect. Neither is a roller, but a roller is about the smoothest thing. So as you can see up in that window up there left that one piece out. Now, you could totally paint that with a paintbrush. You can get a smaller roller, paint that out. What I prefer to do, same roller. I try not to put a ton of paint on it. Sorry if I'm in the way. And that's how I do my first coat. So, hope that was informative and helped you guys out. I hope my video wasn't going in and out of focus like that, because uh, that would really suck. I've been dealing with this issue for a little while now. And it probably has been doing that, hasn't it? So if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. The quality was shitty. Leave a comment down there. Excuse the language. Hit that uh, subscribe button right there. And we'll see you on the next one.